where money is available to anyone, anywhere in the world, instantly and for free. This is a world where you can help your family and friends back home without having to pay high remittance fees. It is a world where you can support your favorite charities and social causes without having to worry about transaction costs. It is a world where you can buy and sell goods and services online without having to worry about your financial information being compromised. This world is possible with digital currency. Bitcoin is back in the news. Talk about a 2020 redux. First, a mystery illness in China and now a Bitcoin surge. And on that for Recode this week, former PayPal CEO Bill Harris called the cryptocurrency quote, the greatest scam in history, noting that it is a dumb scheme unlike anything the world has ever seen. I'm talking about Amazon in the latest jolt to cheerleaders of Bitcoin acceptance in the mainstream. Amazon.com has denied the media report saying e-commerce giant is not looking to accept Bitcoin payments by end of the year. I'm used to asset classes where, like the farm, where they have output or a company with hidden products. We have an asset class that's 100% based on sort of greater food for me because someone's going to take more for it than I do. Uh, and where it has, at its heart, sort of this anonymity that, you know, you avoid taxation or any sort of, you know, government rules about kidnapping fees or things. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm not involved in that. I'm not long or short uh, <laughs> any of those things. And why should you care? Well, simply put, cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual form of currency that uses cryptography for security. It is decentralized, meaning it is not controlled by any central authority like a government or a bank. Instead, it operates on a technology called blockchain. With cryptocurrency, you are in control of your financial destiny. No more dealing with banks that close at 3 p.m. or wait times on international transfers. Cryptocurrency operates 24 into 7, 365 days a year. It all started on 31st October 2008 when a mysterious person named Santoshi Nakamoto published a paper on the internet. Santoshi's main motive was evident from the first line of the paper. A version of electronic cash that would allow payments to be sent directly from one party to the another party without going through a financial institution. Back then, cryptocurrency was merely an idea in the mind of that person. But now, there is trading worth lakhs and crores on its crypto exchange. Bitcoin was seen as a radical departure from traditional currencies controlled by central banks. Now, the question arises, how does cryptocurrency work? Welcome to the world of encrypto. You have already appraised the advantages inherent in cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. However, ensuring the safety and security of your assets and exchanges and online wallets is still an open challenge. Encrypto provides a solution that protects the wallets of cryptocurrency owners from hackers and blocking. This solution is called InSafe. It is a device for the stationary storage of cryptocurrencies. With InSafe, you can receive and transfer digital money offline. In addition, your assets will always be with you. Encrypto provides the maximum services available through a single registration. Connect InSafe to your personal account. The system displays your account balance and opens up possibilities for managing the accounts. Select the currency and transaction. Withdraw money in any way convenient to you. Cold storage of assets ensures complete safety. The same principle applies to all the crypto financial services. Cryptocurrency exchange with a professional toolkit for traders and investors. Decentralized cryptocurrency trading platform for goods and services. All transactions with fiat currencies are carried through our own Encrypto Bank, which ensures faster speed and anonymity. Encrypto, the payment infrastructure of the future. Cryptocurrency is based on a technology called blockchain. Blockchain is a distributed ledger system that allows for secure, transparent, and temper-proof transactions. 
when you make a cryptocurrency transaction the transaction is broadcast to the blockchain network the network then verifies the transaction and adds it to the blockchain ledger once the transaction is added to the ledger it is permanent and cannot be reversed cryptocurrency transactions are secured using cryptography cryptography is a complex mathematical system that is used to encrypt and decrypt data this makes it very difficult to counterfeit or hack cryptocurrency transactions now let us talk about the rise of bitcoin and other cryptocurrency Bitcoin didn't see its first genuine price pump until Forbes mentioned it in 2011. Once the story broke, Bitcoin rose to an unprecedented high of almost nine dollar. Before that, Bitcoin was trading for around one dollar per coin. Bitcoin's price skyrocketed during 2017 to 2018. For the first time in history, it soared through the ten thousand dollar range. and briefly touched $20,000 before falling into a crypto winter during this time developers had many heated discussions over how to scale the bitcoin network there were also many developments in ethereum's ecosystem during this period and nfts started to emerge as unique digital collectibles projects in the defi category like decentralized exchanges also started to build on ethereum despite all this innovation It wasn't until 2020 that the crypto market returned to life. During this bull cycle, Bitcoin topped at almost seventy thousand dollar per coin. Major companies like MicroStrategy and Tesla put Bitcoin on the balance sheets. In fact, E. I. Salvador made Bitcoin legal tender. Ethereum also attracted more users thanks to the increased prevalence of NFTs and metaverse games. However, as 2021 turned to 2022, much of this euphoria fizzled. In addition to macroeconomic headwinds, the crypto space suffered a significant blow when Terraform Labs' US dollar stablecoin USD fell to zero. Crypto VCs and centralized lending companies tied to USD got dragged down with the broader crypto market. Originally formed as a joke. Dogecoin was created by IBM software engineer Billy Marcus and Adobe software engineer Jackson Palmer. Dogecoin was officially launched on 6 December 2013 and within the first 30 days there were over a million visitors to dogecoin.com. On 19 December 2013, Dogecoin jumped nearly 300% in value in 72 hours, rising from Point zero 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 two six dollar to point zero zero nine five dollar, with a volume of billions of Dog coins traded per day. In January two thousand twenty one, Dog coin went up to over eight hundred percent in twenty four hours, reaching point zero seven dollar as a result of attention from Reddit users, partially encouraged by Elon Musk and the GameStop short squeeze. In February two thousand twenty one, Dog coin hit a new high price. Of point zero eight dollar, following Twitter encouragement from Musk, Snoop Dogg, and Gene Simmons. Despite these negative headlines, the crypto market had retained its one dollar trillion market cap in two thousand twenty two. Now, before moving further, let us discuss how different countries have approached cryptocurrency. Governments around the world have taken different approaches to regulate cryptocurrency. Some countries have embraced cryptocurrency and are working to integrate it into their financial systems, while others have taken a more cautious approach, banning or severely restricting its use. The United States has taken a relatively hands-off approach to cryptocurrency regulation, with the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission taking the lead in overseeing the market. The SEC has classified some cryptocurrencies as securities. while others are considered commodities the cftc has jurisdiction over cryptocurrency derivatives china has taken a more restrictive approach to cryptocurrency banning cryptocurrency exchanges and initial coin offerings in 2017 the country has also cracked down on cryptocurrency mining japan has been one of the most welcoming countries to cryptocurrency recognizing bitcoin as a legal tender in 2017 the country has also established a regulatory framework for cryptocurrency exchanges 
India's stance on cryptocurrency has been evolving over the past few years. The country's central bank, the Reserve Bank of India, has expressed concerns about the risk of cryptocurrency, but the government has not yet taken any definitive action to ban or regulate it. In 2021, the Supreme Court of India struck down a ban on cryptocurrency exchanges, paving the way for further development of the market in the country. So what will be the India's future with cryptocurrency? India is a large and rapidly growing economy with a young, tech-savvy population. This makes it a potentially attractive market for cryptocurrency. However, the country's regulatory uncertainty is likely to slow the adoption of cryptocurrency in the near term. The Indian government is currently considering a cryptocurrency bill that would regulate the cryptocurrency market. The bill is expected to establish a framework for cryptocurrency exchanges and wallets, as well as impose anti-money laundering and know-your-customer requirements. The government is also considering whether to recognize cryptocurrency as a legal tender. The outcome of the cryptocurrency bill will have a significant impact on the future of cryptocurrency in India. If the bill is passed into law, it could provide much-needed regulatory clarity and help to boost the adoption of cryptocurrency in the country. Now let us know about how to buy and sell cryptocurrency. There are several ways to buy and sell digital currency including cryptocurrency exchanges, peer-to-peer -peer exchanges and cryptocurrency ATMs. Cryptocurrency exchanges are online platforms where you can buy and sell digital currency using fiat currency or other cryptocurrencies. Some popular cryptocurrency exchanges include Coinbase, Binance, and Kraken. P2P exchanges allow you to buy and sell digital currency directly with other users. Some popular P2P exchanges include Local Bitcoins and BizQ. Cryptocurrency ATMs allow you to buy and sell digital currency using fiat currency. Cryptocurrency ATMs are becoming increasingly common but they still need to be more widely available than traditional ATMs. Now, as we continue to explore more on cryptocurrency, let us discuss the importance and need of cryptocurrency and risks involved in it. Cryptocurrency offers several advantages which have contributed to their growing popularity and adoption. Here are the key advantages of cryptocurrency in detail. Cryptocurrencies are accessible to anyone with an internet connection. Every transaction is recorded and stored in a transparent and immutable manner. Hence, it makes it challenging for hackers to manipulate or steal funds. Cryptocurrencies can significantly reduce these scores, particularly for international and cross-border transactions, as it does not involve intermediaries like banks and can be processed at a much faster rate. Beyond digital currencies, blockchain technology enables the creation of decentralized applications. Smart contracts and non-fungible tokens which have application across various industries. The programmable contracts enables automation of complex financial transactions. Also, Bitcoin has gained value over time offering investment opportunities. While cryptocurrency has shown remarkable potential, it also comes with its fair share of risks and challenges. Cryptocurrencies are known for their extreme price variations. Prices can fluctuate significantly in a short period. They can also facilitate illegal activities such as money laundering, tax evasion, and the purchase of illegal goods and services. This has led to regulatory concerns in many jurisdictions. Some cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin require significant computational power for mining and transaction validation. This has raised concerns about the environmental impact due to high energy consumption. Overall, I believe that digital currency has the potential to be a valuable asset class. However, it is important to be aware of the risks involved before investing. Now, let's conclude the topic. The world of cryptocurrencies is a fascinating and dynamic space that is redefining the way we think about money, technology and the future of finance. It has the potential to reshape the way we conduct transactions, store value, and interact with our financial systems. Many businesses and online platforms now accept digital currencies as a valid form of payment. However, it is important to be aware of the risks involved before investing.
investing in cryptocurrency. The future of digital currencies is uncertain but exciting. They have the potential to disrupt many industries and might even challenge traditional financial systems. I am excited to see what the future holds for digital currency. I believe that it has the potential to make the positive impact on the world and to improve the lives of millions of people. Thanks for joining us today and remember the future of finance is becoming increasingly digital and cryptocurrencies are at the forefront of this revolution.